two to be locked inside as War Games ramps up. Yeah, Cole, remember, War Games doesn't officially begin until the last contestant enters the cage. We'll have to see if these two have the stamina to last until then. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Rhea capitalizes there. She gets launched all the way to the other ring. Boom, kick! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, forearm connects. Ripley in a surprising bit of danger. Ripley needs to be resourceful. Find an opening. Ascending the War Games cage. No idea what her plan can be. To the sky. Boom! <laughs> so strong is Liv's connection with the fans. Let's see if they can keep her in this fight. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. Catches the kick. Knee right to the face. Something I like about War Games is the emphasis it puts on teamwork. If you don't come in with a cohesive plan and trust your teammates completely, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. You're actually not wrong. That's why War Games often favors more established squads who know one another inside and out. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. And now having to deal with that weapon is like going up against two competitors at once. And what a throw that was. Impressive assault from Rhea Ripley. Rhea showing off that wide array of hers. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. Uh -oh. And I don't like it, but in war games, a one-sided brawl is all perfectly legal. ready to do some absolute damage. Counting down the seconds as this match gets closer to being even. Ooh. Knew what was coming there. And with the next combatant on their way, it looks like things are close to a fair fight once again. Oh, Liv got caught with a reversal. The jumping complete shot. Face first. Liv ending this fight right there. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. She saw it coming. Oh, oh, big boot. Oh, just dead lifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Belair with the wherewithal to avoid that. Whoa, she just chucked her over to the other ring. Morgan looking for the two-on-one face breaker. Ouch. And the balance of power is about the jumping complete shot. Face first. Does that finish Bianca off? Oh, a sledgehammer to the midsection will knock the win. Get to the gut. Here it comes. Riptide. Wow. Ripley got her. Looks like they're bringing additional firepower with them into what is now essentially a handicap match. How 
do these women have anything left? I have no idea, but there is no way you can expect them to keep going much longer. Look at the amount of members on each team now. This truly has the potential to become one-sided. She's going up, taking flight. And she got set hard into the opposite ring. in the corner. Break the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Up to the top rope now. Take off.
Perfect takedown. Stop. Evades the attack. Ooh, she just turned it around. Uh-oh, feel the glow. Rhea Ripley with her opponent up on her shoulders. Electric chair. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. And she's stunned in the corner. Big shot in the corner from Strat. He's looking for the win. But meanwhile, here's Sky. Tiffany with the exclamation mark. Here's the cover. She's going for it. This could be. Kick out. She still has life. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. The powerhouse rock cover on Riggins. Oh, Eos in dire straits. She's staying elusive. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara And she's getting... And there's the save. of the war. No way to sugarcoat it, gentlemen. This is about the toughest test you can face here in the WWE, and they passed it with flying colors.